I wanted to take you through my sort of process and how I get towards my end goals and you can watch a bit of footy training. And this is what our body is functioning off of, our lungs, mm. our brain. These Puma's big, big sponsor of the channel. Ah. Ah. That's the Jackson Edwards special off one foot. Favourite sex position? Ah, uh, gotta be... Three hours later. Probably. Talking my pockets, just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. Which will show pretty much like anything else that's in the water. What it's gonna do is separate all the matter in the water. So organic, inorganic, herbicides, pesticides. It's also gonna separate the minerals. It's going brown and there's a change of texture. And this is what our body is functioning off of. Our lungs, mm. our brain, everything, every function in our body. Oh, Gucci. Don't worry about it. You didn't shave your arms so. though. They're blonde, you can't even see them. Bruh, the camera can see them. Going for a kick with Corey Hitchcock, Thomas Reeves, and a big fan of the YouTube videos apparently from all reports. So we'll see if he cracks under Welcome pressure under the camera. I've never met him before, but. Bottles on me, long as summer. Boy. So I like you. How are you, bro? How are you, sir? Are these Puma's big, big sponsor of the channel? I wish. They look so much better with white socks. I am fucking lightning. I'll get it. You haven't kicked the foot in a while? Fuck, slip your pills. Nervous. With the big boys. No breeze. No excuses. Hold, hold, hold. Coming with you now. Ah, there he is. There he is, my friend Jackson. You just take back, bro. You just take it back. You got time. I'm coming now, yes. I might have a shot. Oh. <laughs> yes, Will. Nice boy. Fake left, fake left. Coming right. Ah. Oh. Yes, sir! Get the blisters again, can't wait. Ah! That's the Jackson Edwards special off one foot. Get there! Ah. Green, orange, yellow, oh. gotta be a snap! Green, gotta be orange, a snap! Yellow! Snap it! Ah. 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 Straight out here, Jackson. Lovely adjustment, lovely kick. Get around me. Ah. Ah. <laughs> out of trouble, <laughs> running! How is it? <laughs> We're only part-time athletes. We don't play football for a living. Make it fun. Football is fun. Ah! I need a ball! Yep! Left, right, which one? I work best under pressure. I don't miss two in a row. Run it up a bit further. Plenty of your time, Will. Plenty of your time. I'll literally go up and all mine. <laughs> Quarter f***ing arm and oat milk. That's what he asked for. Where are you from? How old are you? What's your nickname? And what are your hobbies? Uh, Favourite sex position? Will from Port Macquarie, age 18. Here for the week. Hobbies? Footy, AFL. Favourite sex position? Uh, gotta be... Three hours later. Probably. Good little footy session. We're off to the footy club now. I'm going to coach Wolfie for a PT session and then we're into football training. I was hoping that I could get some clips of football training because I want to speak about my goals for 2024. I know some of you want to hear about that in terms of the football side of things. I'll add in a couple personal ones there as well. So I'm not sure how the rest of this video is going to play out, but hang around and you'll find out very soon. Wow, how many you got? 50. All day, all day, keep going. Oft, I have eaten two pieces of bread, a apple, and a protein bar, and that is it today. So I am starving to say the least. Not ideal eating a full sort of meal at this time. It's three o'clock. Sometimes you just gotta make do. I'll have this with a little bit of fruit, and then we'll get stuck into a gym session after that. We're just rolling with the punches. Searching for the thrill of it. All that, all that, all we are calling out now the death, never looking 
This is going to be a very raw clip because I've got one take, I've got one shot at opening this coconut water. So we're going to see how we go for the next five minutes. We'll see how long this goes for, but I wanted to speak on my goals for 2024. It's been a couple people asking about what I sort of want to achieve, how I set my goals out, and it has definitely changed over the period of... Well, probably since I was, I reckon I was 10, 11, 12, when I first started working through my goals, mum started getting me working on a vision board and different things like that to sort of set me up to for success. So it definitely has changed over time between now and then. Um, so I wanted to take you through my sort of process and how I get towards my end goals. And you can watch a bit of footy training. So shout out to Cameron Smith who got a little bit of footage for me whilst he was filming some other stuff as well. So you can thank him for that. I know he'll be watching. I wanted to get into my goals. I've got a little vision board myself, which sits as my laptop um, background screen and I sort of look at that every day as I open my laptop but my first goal which you're going to see I'll pop a little pop up of what my vision board looks like and is what I'm pointing towards and it's that 10,000 YouTube subscribers it is something that I am heavily passionate about at the moment and have been for quite some time I haven't been able to pump out as many videos as I would have liked and I went through a little bit of a stage where I stopped sort of posting just because I didn't know what direction I wanted to take the football take take the channel in in general. I know I want want it to be footy based, but in terms of the actual content itself, I didn't know what I wanted that to be. So now I'm very clear on that. I want 10,000 subscribers because I know the impact that is going to bring to the wider community. The amount of messages that I receive on a weekly basis, I won't say daily because they probably don't come in daily, but weekly basis of even just asking for help or saying how much my content has helped them is amazing. And I absolutely love it. And so I want to continue this journey and I'm passionate about video editing, camera stuff, content all that um, i've been doing content since 2017 which like doesn't feel that long ago but looking back it's seven years now which is absolutely insane so how i'm sort of going to get there is i've got three sort of things that i'm working through i've got a little list here with me collaborations number one thing i did a video with kane baldwin got 30,000 views on that video alone and that was just a training video so i want to do more collaborations i've got a sort of list that I want to work through next pre-season or sorry next off season so once the footy season's finished and there's a, that gap where players go on holidays and things like that that's where I want to do those collabs during the year weekly game day vlogs that is what I've been working towards over the last probably two to three months in trying to get it organized with the club that sort of thing was a little bit difficult uh, because social media is not their number one priority, which I totally understand, but I'm glad to sort of announce that I can do weekly vlogs uh, for the game day stuff next year. So I'm super, super pumped for that and minimum one video per week. So that just comes down the, to the consistency side of things. One video per week, I ideally would love to, but we'll see how we go time-wise because I still do have to work. I can't do this full time at the moment. So we'll see how we go with that. But that is my number one goal for next year. By the end of 2024, I want 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Hopefully more, but we'll see what happens. Second goal is a bit more footy based. So that that one I would say is a bit more business career sort of focused. This one is more personal biz, uh, career based as well a little bit. A bit more personal but footy. I want to be in the VFL team of the year. Looking back on my season this year, it was hard because I got pushed around in a lot of different positions, which was one of my notes underneath this was, I don't know how it's going to work because I do get pushed around a little in different positions a lot, which is good because I can utilize my strengths in different areas. However, it does make it hard to cement a spot in VFL team of the year. So if I could make that, that would be incredible. It means I've had a really consistent year and I've put um, my best foot forward. I'd love a premiership as well. Of course, we'd all, we're would all we all striving for a premiership. So that is another thing that I am striving for. But from a personal standpoint, a VFL team of the year is my second goal. Number three is more financial, and it's literally super simple. Be in a better position than I currently am. 
I just want to be a little bit better than I was this year. I focused a lot on football this year. I wanted to give it a real red hot crack and see what could happen. Things didn't quite fall the way I wanted to and the way I sort of visioned and planned, but shit like that happens. It's going to happen for the rest of my life. So I want to be in a better financial position than I currently am. That involves Project 250, which I started working towards and didn't quite happen in the end. I apologize. This clip is going to go a little bit longer than expected, but I wanted to get that done. It didn't quite happen in time. A few things popped up. I want Project 250 to launch because I know it's going to help and impact so many more people. And I just want to be 1% better. I just wrote that down. I felt like that is one of my mottos as well. I just want to be 1% better. So we're going to see what 2024 brings. Those are my three goals. I've got a few other things on there as well that sort of represent a few different meanings and just help make the overall vision board look better, but also they have meaning towards me as well. So that's how I set my goals up now. Um, everyone is going to do it differently. It's not perfect. This is how I do it. It's super, super simple. And one thing that I focus on is just that next step. It's something that I've learned from the 31 minute podcast. Matt Steinway speaks about it all the time is just focusing on that next step. What's the next step for you in your career? For me, in my next step in my YouTube career is hitting 10,000 subscribers. My next step in my football career is hitting VFL team of the year. My next step financially is just to be in a better position than I was this year or currently am. So that is my goals for 2024. Hope that uh, hope that gives you some inspiration to sort of set your own goals and set your own targets and not make them too large and ambitious for 2024. Yes, you can have them for longer term, but for 2024, what do you want to achieve? Drop it down in the comments below. Let me know. I'd love to hear your three goals. If it's two, if it's one, keep it really simple. I've had many goals in the past. I had nine, 10, 11, 12 goals. It gets too much. Keep it as simple as you can, have a couple different focus areas, and go get after it. Yeah, thick dude, so totally thick! No! God, please, no! No! <laughs> Okay. So I just had some watermelon, had a little chef good meal just to get a few electrolytes in from the watermelon and then what just didn't want to cook. It's like eight o'clock at night when I was eating dinner. So I'm gonna have a few cocoa bombs just to top up on some calories because I haven't eaten too much today. I didn't really feel like this, otherwise I'll lose too much weight. Eight thousand dollars. Eight thousand. <laughs> Bro, get